We talk about an asset transfer. Yes. So what's that? Okay. Okay. Assets transfer for today is part of the assets deposition. It's part of. But when we talk about the uh, two sessions before, right? We talk about how to dispose the deposition of the assets. For that session, we more talk about like sales or exchange. Sales exchange. Right. Very good questions raised here. Okay, let me repeat it. How? Because this is very important. Okay, and he just asked one question: What is the difference from today's assets transfer different from the other days we talk about the assets deposition? When we talk about the assets deposition, you need to think about that capital gain or capital loss. So for the assets deposition. It's more like the sales or online kind exchange. They really mean the assets from deposit from A to B, but for deposition is more like sales or online kind exchange. Say A and B exchange to each other, but the assets is online kind. So if we talk about deposition of the assets then you need to think about the capital gain or capital loss. That is on your Schedule D. All right? However, here is also the assets change hand. However, for today, the major difference is there is no compensation. No compensation. You understand? For deposition mean the assets from A to B, however, B need to pay something bad to A. So this like a sales or exchange, right? Understand? So if the assets from A to B, but in the, in, the, in the meantime, the B pay something bad to A, that is assets deposition. Then you need to think about the capital gain or capital loss. But here, for this final chapter, the assets from A to B, but B does not pay anything back to A. So there is no capital gain issue for A. Understand? So this is why when we talk about either the gift or asset or donation, always mean the party receive the assets does not pay anything back to giver. So there is no capital gain issue for A. So, so this, this, this is very important. Otherwise, if you don't differentiate these two situations, you may miss out. So if you don't differentiate, so when you see the gift from A to B, you may miss, made a mistake and you go ahead to calculate what's the capital gain for A. No, no such thing. Okay? When A is either the giver or don't, uh, don't know whatsoever, as long as A gives the pro property, the assets to the other party, and A does not receive any compensation, remember there is no capital gain issue there. There is no capital gain. Very good questions, okay? Keep this in your mind. And also, it's more like a review, okay? For this semester, when we talk about this final chapter, and it, it is either gift or asset or donation, and a couple issues here, right? We just 